What have we achieved? It's me, it's me, it's your favourite today. How you doing? Um, I'm alive. I'm alive and also still in the house. She didn't chuck me out. Are you still old, Gunnar? No. You're dead. I'm not impressed, though. Do you look beautiful, though? Yeah. But, um, excuse the presence. <laughs> oh. Shelley, Shelley and Lice did the uh, tree today. I was in half it today, so we really did it. <laughs> mm. um, I don't think I'm going to drink again. I was in the camera, mm. awful. I can't get... There we go. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to drink again. Um, you say? Do you say it every time? Mm. It was a stupid, stupid thing to do. And you're a stupid person. An eye-opening thing as well. Me and, me and Mark talked about it last night. It was... Oh. But we went into the Starbucks. And we were in the Starbucks. Which Starbucks just, did you go in? Um... Across from where the Tesco is on. Oh, on um, the no, street from leading the up to the, to the, the um, square, Centenary Square. Is it? Yeah. Um. There was loads of homeless people in there, all on like the Wi-Fi. Using the Wi-Fi in the um, in the coffee shop, it was mental. Um. But okay. yeah. And then hanging around the train station, being tired. I fell asleep on the train and then just heard Wolverhampton and went, oh. Where would you have gone to if you did it? Uh, Hollyhead. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> Probably you've gone to sleep and stayed on there. <laughs> Do I look you now? No, you're fine. I just look really pasty. Right, yeah, yeah, you look really Look pale. at my hand. I'm so pale. And look at these bags here. This is what having no sleep does. I don't know. The last time, I actually had a whole night's sleep. I, c I can't remember the last time I had a whole night's sleep. It's really bad. I'm shattered. But yeah, she didn't get rid of me. She called me in and she she hugged me and I was like, I missed you, baby. still a dickhead. I missed you, baby. I didn't say I missed you, baby at all. Since when do I say I missed you, baby? Yeah, you did. Oh, my eye. <laughs> That's what you get for lying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'd rather do that again. It really seemed like a good idea when, because I, I have said to it, I did, it, it wasn't a thing that... He accidentally missed yeah, the train. it wasn't accident. As soon as I told him at five to one that... Yeah, it wasn't the last train the at train. half past one or twenty to two It or was me kind of going... Being a douchebag. <laughs> An absolute douchebag. Oh, God. And then not really gathering mm. that everything shuts... God, you're so dim. You really must be. What would you think happened? I don't know, I thought it'd be like an all night club or something. <sighs> Can't you tell he's getting old? <laughs> oh, I look so rough. Oh my god. I really do. I look absolutely awful. Even my hand looks fat. I've got no man's. <laughs> What's up? You do. Shut up. No, he didn't. No. No. He's been up there for. What time did you put me in? Half six? Half six, seven. I don't know about time. An hour and a half. Sleep. Are they still? Uh, but yeah, talking about Leo. Mm. <laughs> um, be talking. The consultant. The consultant. Yes. yes for an appointment. Um. Oh, do you wanna? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we talking to the consultant yesterday. Um. Smell 50 bags. Well, I didn't. <laughs> you carry on. Um, 
we're talking to the consultant for an appointment and she asked us about his sleep and his behaviour and all that and she says she's referring him to the ASD panel because it's some concerns so she's starting that process which can take what did she say is it nine months mm. nine months so she's going to start it now so we basically sign a like consent form, didn't yeah. they? Basically putting him forward for me. I don't know. I had no sleep last week. Um, putting him on the autism... On the autistic spectrum. Autri- autistic spectrum. She said the three outcomes from the panel are, one, he hasn't got autism at all, full stop. Two, he's got autistic traits um, and they'll be him again in a year or two. Or the third one is he's on the autistic spectrum, whether it be low, middle, high, whichever mm. end of that spectrum it is. Um, those are the three different outcomes. But she says she wants to do it now. She said that some areas she's not overly concerned about, but there are some which concern her, and she thought it's probably mm. the best thing to maybe get it started now. And um, because it takes so long anyway. Uh, and she also couldn't sleep in the bed. She wanted to, sleep. well, she offered um, Thank you, thank you, thank you. some me- um, oh, medication. It, well, it's not. It's called melatonin, which, um, when she explained it, and I've had a bit of a you haven't looked into it yet, have you? But mm. I've done a bit of research into it because we are not really keen on med- you know, medicating the kids to be honest. I don't want to medicate them, that's why. Um, but. When I've looked into it and spoken to people whose children are on it and whatnot, it's quite. <laughs> I use the word natural, the best way I can think to describe it, in that it's something your body produces anyway, so it's a top up for that because obviously the gland is not producing enough to allow him to go into a natural sleep as easy as what he should be, um, and to like switch off. Um, and I've done a bit of research and you know it doesn't you know it's better than giving him Fenagon or something that some people did to the kids years ago it's frightening um, yeah we know people that used to give their kids even when they don't need it mm, we give the kids just Fenagon just so they sleep on the night it's just like bloody hell um, but yeah it's, it's you know as I said I use the word natural form of um, but yeah, I think I'm looking into it and speaking to people and the family support worker and stuff. I'm, and there's people who were like us and against medicating the kids, but they have tried it and found it to be effective. And you know, it's not what you call it. So for me, obviously, I don't want to, but I'm. You know, I'd consider trying it. I'll go and look it up more. You need to look into it. Because um, I don't particularly want to be giving him anything. Neither do I. But this is what happens when. Yeah. I'm drugging the kid up just because it's a It ain't a drug. It's something the body naturally produces anyway. That we're putting in him. Huh? It's a top off of what he's already. His brain's not producing enough. So it's a drug. So his brain's not working properly. It's not a drug. It's something the body already produces. The body doesn't produce a drug. It's it's what the body naturally. It's a hormone that the body and naturally where, produces. Where have we got a uh, old melatonin from? Hmm. Where? Oh, just because it's come from the doctor. You can buy it off the counter from health shops. Right. Okay. And that wasn't like I don't know, syringed from a brain, was it? Oh. Really, it's a synthetic thing. They've obviously. Had to make it somehow. So therefore, it's they found a way to make it, but it's not. So oh, I'm, agree. I'm not agreeing now. But a... you know, I don't want to give my kid medication or whatever it is. Um, looking into it, as I said, you know, it's what do you call it? And if it allows him to sleep and get the rest he needs. And maybe improve his behaviour a little, and allows me to see. Because look, this is what. Because he doesn't get up in the night with him. He's never awake with him. On one is up every single night with that child no, and no, with his right. sister. This, yeah. This what happens. Here we go. Let all, the bullshit. All, he's come got out. To be, all, all it is is. 
And she's No, I don't. No, I don't. That's upload. a lie. You say and bought down no, that freaking landing. No, I don't. Landing. No, I don't. No, I don't. I actually do, because oh, I can't be off the gaze a bit. I'm too shattered. I really am shattered. I have to go up at 6 o'clock every morning. God. Every morning I'm up at 6 o'clock. Before that has even ended. She's got no, one I don't anymore, arms because walking. even when he's crying or whinging a bit now, I leave him to see if he goes off by himself. So that's BS right there. Exactly. He's a twat. But yeah, he don't. Yeah, the one who sleeps on this side of the bed, closest to the door to get out of it, at all. Yeah, the one who, our five-year-old, comes and wakes up in the middle of the night if she needs a wee or whatever. No, because he's on the other side of the bed by the wall and gets a great night most of the time. Me, on the other hand, the only reason he's tired is because he don't come to bed till about half one o'clock. Half one. So that's his problem. I go to bed, I try to sleep, I'm shattered. Because I'm up every single night. I can't remember the last time I had a sleep all the way through the night. Oh God, you make me sound like a right bastard. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm not just that, saying. I'm not that bad. No, I'm just saying. I am shattered. It's not my problem that oh, they God. wake you up and they don't yeah, wake me up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you sleep like a freaking... I don't know. Someone that sleeps heavy. But, yeah, one of them. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna stop it now because obviously she listens to the bit bits of that life. Oh no, I don't give a shit about that. Man. It was our five-year-old who was up when Dan was because her dad wasn't back. There we go. He's daddy back yet? He's daddy back yet? No, He's no. The guilt. Oh, our guilt. It's the truth, mate. Hmm. I'm look. This is what a bag of shit looks like right here. I'm absolutely. Mm, bag of shit, no, I be. I really am. No, I just stop. I look awful and I feel awful as well. You, you, you gorgeous. <sighs> Trust me, I'm I know, shallow. It's BS right there. I'm shallow. Okay, rough. I look. I've not got my fringe. I need to take my hairdresser. I've just thought. I need I, a fringe for Christmas. If you weren't half banging, I wouldn't be here. <sighs> See my half or half. Oh, I've got to look so rough. I thought for half or half. I'm joking, you're gorgeous. You're, you're the most beautiful woman that ever existed. Mm. I wish I felt like After Katy Perry. Yeah, I wish I felt like it. I you need to lose about two stars. Katy Perry's definitely number one. I need to lose about two stars and grab it. You're number two. About five or six inches. I'd be a bit happier. Maybe I'd have a bit of chin tuck and stuff. Mm. Anyway. Sure, I'm not <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> Sorry about oh that. god, that class for me is horrendous. Like, Jesus Christ, I apologise for that. Jeez, I, look, so you do I look like a troll. You do yeah, that's it. Be the, the, the thing, I look like a troll. You will be the thumbnail. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm alive. We're not divorced. Mm, yet. <laughs> yeah, yet. We've still got a lot tomorrow. Uh, we're going to see Santa tomorrow. Oh yeah, Telford Wonderland. Yeah, so... Yay. And go to the Christmas market and get yeah. some food. I haven't got sure. to cook. Woohoo! <laughs> sure, I've got to stop you. Sorry. Because you'll just carry on. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Peace out. Bye. Adios. See you later. Ciao.